Hey everybody, I'm here with the State Group 2 champ. It's Joe Dragon from High Point, 1552, a big PR in this course for you, Joe. Uh, first boy from High Point to ever win a state cross-country title. Obviously, Sarah DeSanza won it on the girls' side a couple years ago. How satisfying is it, Joe, just to cross the line first and be a state champ? Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, I don't think it really sunk in until I was going on the downhill portion of the last like half mile. But uh, then it really did when, when everyone said, like, you have 100 meters, you know, calm down a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just like, you know, started to sink in, especially coming through here feeling comfortable it was really cool uh yeah, you, gave, you gave a little wave coming in and yeah, uh, a fist yeah. bump i mean who was that towards just uh everyone appreciation <laughs> appreciation is your family on, over yeah. there uh i think they were a little bit earlier toward the shoot so i waved okay. to them too but yeah. um but yeah it was just really cool i haven't won groups yet on the track or on the course so it feels really good is this say biggest moment of your uh your running career so far uh one of them yeah definitely yeah. i would definitely count this as one of them hey 1552 a great time here uh, just talk about the race in general, Joe. I mean, it was hyped up, uh, you know, for you against the, the Daily Twins and some other uh, great runners in here. Uh -huh. um, what was your plan? I mean, you've been getting away from guys early and really, you know, getting big gaps. I mean, was that kind of how it went today? Yeah, I mean, most of the time that's normally the plan. But when you get to these big state championships, you don't really want to mess around with, like, uh, getting out too early and stuff, you know, dying out. So, uh <coughs> They can catch you pretty easy in these kind of races, so um, which I've learned. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, with this plan, it was just like get out kind of easy. Um, yeah, I think I was with a group of like ten or so guys through the mile, and right when he got to the mile, I started to pull away, and then from there on, I think I had like fifty or so meters up until the tennis courts all the way. And then from there, I think that was kind of the race. So pretty comfortable for you then out front. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, next week, meet a champs right back here at Homedale. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, you're 1552, and the season you're having, you're definitely a major contender next week to try to win the whole thing. What are your thoughts on just trying to beat a meet a champ winner next week? Yeah, I mean, I've been dreaming of you know this upcoming week. Uh, you know, for as long as I've been in high school, so after seeing Sarah win a freshman year, that's all I've been wanting to do for mm -hmm. these last four years. Um, so yeah, it's like one of the biggest dreams of mine, and we'll see if it comes true. I think it'll take a pretty, pretty uh, cool. A lot of great talent in Jersey, obviously. I mean, you know all about the great guys out there. I think it's going to take a crazy fast time next week to, uh, to win. Yeah, I think about 10 or 20 seconds faster than I did today. It would probably take. Um, I think it's going to be more, a little more about strategy and when people go and everything. But, but yeah, like I said, like a few interviews ago or so, uh, maybe after like HWS, you know, I think there's a few guys that can win this. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. I wouldn't even be able to count like who's the top five because. It changes on a daily does. basis. Hey, yeah. We'll have a better idea in a couple hours. Yeah, here. exactly. <laughs> but you're definitely one of the guys who has a shot. Yeah, thank you. All right, you heard from Joe Dragon, the state group two champ, high point senior, first boy from his school to ever win, 1552. Watch out for Joe next week. Meet a champ contender. Congrats, Joe. Thank you. Thanks.